12 time national champion Navarro recruits athletes from across the country. It's a business plan that longtime coach Monica Aldama has perfected. After completing her business degree in finance, Monica thought she'd find herself working on Wall Street running a big company. Not director of cheerleading and professor of math in rural Corsicana, Texas, 50 miles south of Dallas. But running the cheerleading organization at Navarro Junior College is a business, and Monica's competitive nature drove her to build a successful program. I've been at the college for 22 years. When I came to the college, we had not ever won a national championship, so my goal was to build up the program and win our first national championship, which we did in 2000. And since then, we've won 12 national championships, and this year we're going for number 13. With it being a junior college, we rotate out kids a lot, so it's, it's almost like a whole new program. Every year we're starting from scratch, and we have a great group of alumni that help me reach out to find talented people to come and be a part of our program. I went to high school at Carlisle High School in Dayton, Ohio. And honestly, when I dropped in, I knew that this was um, a team that had, was, had a tradition of excellence. It was phenomenal. The energy, the fight that was on the mat, the determination to be excellent, it was amazing. And it just dropped me in. I, I fell in love with it the first day. I'm really looking for people that are team players, that are going to be good students in the classroom, um, that are going to be good representatives of our program, because it makes my job a lot easier when all those things happen because um, as long as you have a good work ethic, we can come in and we can learn and we can build their skills up. We set high expectations for ourselves because we want to be the best and we strive for the best. We want to be confident in ourselves and in our teammates as well. We do have a very competitive program and the, the cheerleaders that are competitive and want to follow that direction into college um, look at our college as a great opportunity to come to. The names change, but the dynasty continues. We'll see Navarro's performance next. The NCAA NDA Collegiate Cheer and Dance Championship is sponsored by Daytona Beach, the original American beach. Our junior college division, Navarro. Enforced after day one for seating purposes, trying to get back on top after Trinity Valley won the championship last year. Aggressive standing, tumbling to the front of the mat, building right to those partner stunts in the back. Nice stability, creative transition out. You can see the running, tumbling at the front of the mat as they continue to work through those partner stunts, holding on there in the back. Monica Aldamo, whom we met earlier, said actually finishing second took a little weight off their shoulders coming in this year. Not bad to come in as the challenger. You agree with that? Well, sometimes when you are the defending champ over and over and over, you automatically, whether you want to be it or not, are the team to beat. That is added pressure. But good news for them, they've upgraded their skills. That was one of their goals, to put those Pike Arabian one and a halfs in the routine. And then they come right back with the Tuck Arabian one and a halfs. And remember, on the junior college level, you only have these athletes for a couple of years and then are constantly turning over your athletes. Only five of the 20 year competed a year ago. Nice technique incorporated into their running, tumbling. You can see feet together on the round of back handsprings. Nice position in the air. Nice straight bodies on those full twists. All elements the judges are looking for. In Amanda, last year they had a 97.55, a tremendous score here, but it still wasn't enough to beat Trinity Valley. But both teams have oh. tremendous difficulty in technique. It always comes down to the execution and an incredible pyramid section here. Creative transitions in and out, flying right to the inverted position at the top. It's still going. Wow! <laughs> Flipping from the back right into the front and the crowd going wild. Very impressive. Like I mentioned, both teams incredible difficulty. Navarro had a few deductions. It's going to be close.
such a fun routine. This is an element they are so proud of. The pike open double fulls, nice ripple effect, and then they transition back into Arabian one and a halfs. Well, they gave a great performance. We'll see. Navarro and Trinity Valley battling it out yet again, and now it's in the hands of the judges, and that's not an easy spot. Let's get the results in junior college. In second place with a 97.40. Navarro College. And your 2017 junior college national champions with a 98.30 Trinity Valley Community College. Trinity Valley does it. Back-to-back -back champions closely over Navarro College. Well, the pressure was on to defend the title, and their coaches told them, go out and have a great time, and the strategy worked. Don't lose the fun, and they'll go out as champs again as the battle will continue, I'm sure, in 2018. Congrats to all our champions. For Amanda Borden and Ali Ron, I'm Craig Minervini, saying so long from Daytona Beach. This has been a presentation of the CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.